I'm staying at the APA hotel slash motel in Ueno, Tokyo, and I wanted to show off the details of my small motel room. Okay, so let's go into the bathroom. So at first I was like, wow, this is a small bathroom, but hey, it totally works. So this tub is really high, kind of surprising, but maybe not surprising. I'm not sure. Um, look at this little ridge here. So this is another drain. So essentially you can get this entire bathroom sopping wet and it'll just drain out. And here's kind of a complicated way of controlling the flower, uh, excuse me, the, the water. This is the hot cold. This is the shower faucet. This is the water pressure. And this goes back and forth. Here's the standard hotel soaps. And then there's my stuff. Here's the toilet. Interesting that um, it's kind of a, a normal flush handle that you see back home. Uh, I was expecting some sort of button. And this is a toilet and it's got heated toilet seats. So, so nice. This is down on all the time. And then of course the bidet controls. All right, so when you walk in, this is how I knew that this was for two people, even though um, when I first walked into the room, I was just like, oh my God, how small is this? But this is actually for two people. Um, lots of hooks. So um, really cool hooks to just hang all your stuff in. Um, enough space to just put your luggage underneath the bed. There's instructions for that. So very space efficient. And um, so this I thought was like, what is this? And then it turns out it's air freshener, not just for the air, but for your clothes as well. If you come in from some sort of barbecue or if you just stink. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna put it in down there because um, I don't know, I'm not used to seeing that. Okay, so let's see what else to show. This is um, deep enough to just hide the um, hair dryer, some water, wine glasses, and a little coffee. Thought this was cool. This is for the refrigerator, the motel refrigerator. So if you turn it off, which it was off when I walked into the room, that means that the refrigerator is now off. You have to turn it on to get the cold running, which is I thought was pretty awesome. This is a kimono, well, not kimono, sorry, a bathrobe. So basically a Japanese bathrobe with the bath tie. I haven't opened it yet. Um, this is the hot water pot, which is huge. So if you wanted to make instant ramen or heat up your um, coffee. Um, books and magazines in Japanese. I thought this was super hilarious. I don't know what it says, but um, it was, th th these funny faces are just hilarious. Okay, and the controls by the bed. So um, this is the bed light. This is good night, which, which basically turns off all the lights in the room all at once. This is the bathroom light. This is the desk light, not for the front desk, but for just the light. And then this is like another like room light, whatever that means. And if the electricity somehow turns off in um, the hotel, this is an emergency flashlight. Um, and this controls the air conditioning and heating and it is strong and it's totally fabulous. And one thing that um, I noticed, sorry, gonna do this slowly, is um, so that's the air conditioning that's coming out right now. And um, it only hits this part of the room, not the back part, not by the door. So if you stand by the door, it's actually warmer air. And on this side, it's the nice cooler air. Okay, and then um, last, oh, almost last thing that I wanted to show is this TV. I thought it was really cool that you can see the information of your hotel stay. So here's Wi-Fi. This is... Um, uh, cleaning scheduling. This is information about when I checked in and when I'm going to check out. And then some, something else that will pop up in English in a, in a bit, I think. And then one thing that I wish I can take advantage of, but I discovered I could not, is this TV mirroring. So I was watching Netflix last night on my phablet, and I cannot mirror because it's an Android. So I think this only works for Apple. And one last thing that I really en enjoy and appreciate is the ceiling. So the ceiling, they could have designed it to just be completely flat, but it's not. 
It makes the room feel textured and kind of homey. I can't, I don't have the vocabulary to explain why, but it really does because if it was just a flat ceiling, um, it would definitely cheapen the feel of the room. But I have been enjoying this room and can definitely appreciate um, all the little details that are making me super comfortable.